Another week, another convention. Goodness me, do I love convention oh, yeah, season. So it's the NEC this time. It's the UK Games Expo, the biggest board game event in the country. And Anna's with me. We're going to go and buy board games. Anna's at a convention. We've made it in. We, we come in, the ticket hall is there, and then you've got the whole area where people sit and play their games. On the way in, over there, I think, is the game uh, borrowing area. And then you just sit down and play your games in here. That's not what we're here for. We're here for this bit, which is basically two massive halls of the NEC full of board games for sale. I have broken my golden rule of conventions and we're here on the Saturday, the busy, busy day. It's also half past 12 when we're getting here. So it is, uh, it's heaving in here, which is not ideal. Now, if you're not familiar with the UK Games Expo, it is as the name suggests, a games expo in the UK. It is the biggest place all year where you can come and find board games, tabletop games, and everything connected to those things. So just about every board game or tabletop game you can imagine is somewhere within these halls, but also stuff like gaming tables, dice, carrying bags to put your board games in, storage, accessories, it's all in here. This hobby goes far deeper than I ever realised. I'm very much on the cusp of the hobby. I like a board game, but this is another level and I love it. I love hanging out in places where people are surrounded by things that they're passionate about. It is awesome. I don't even necessarily have to get the hobby to enjoy the atmosphere. There is definitely a buzz around this building and I love that buzz. That's why I love conventions everywhere you turn. There are people playing board games just randomly on the show floor. Dice trays, dice bags, puzzles. I forgot to mention puzzles before. There's definitely puzzles here. It's just so cool and so busy. There's a massive Dungeons and Dragons area behind us. Are we ever going to get into Dungeons and Dragons? Why? It just looks like it would be so much fun. Video games. Ah, you can't say video games in here. This lot will come for you. We should get a Dungeons & Dragons starter set and start a campaign. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Kevin. Genuinely, I think I'd stick my head through anything. Love sticking my head through things. I don't even know what that game was, but presumably it said on the other side. Oh, it was Warhammer. You're not allowed to let me near the Warhammer stuff. You have one job, don't let me near the Warhammer stuff. Yeah. I can't get into Warhammer. We've made it into the area where everything is all in one place. So you've got Wayland games there and Magic Madhouse here. So whereas the rest of it is lots of different like indie games almost. This is where you get all of the, the big famous ones all in one place. If you do want to get something from Magic Madhouse, by the way, I do have an affiliate link for them down in the description below. But there is... Uh, Quite a lot here, board games, trading card games, well, there's Magic, there's Pokemon. Um, this always looks quite interesting, this Disney villainous game. I keep seeing that around the place, but there is a lot. This is a big stall. And then you've got Wayland Games next door, which is just as big. There is so much stuff here. It is awesome. Anna spotted something that Andy would like. You don't see what, at the point. I think it's just a, a train set, isn't it? It's like a little wooden train set by the looks of it. There's trains on there, Kevin, there's marbles. Okay, it's a ball -y train you set. No, I see it now, yeah, I see it now. So why are they there? So you knock the dominoes over, so you set the dominoes up. So it's a bit like mouse trap as well. Looks like you can set up little stunt runs and then smash but everything why? down with the balls. He, you don't need to ask why, you know he'd love to do it. We should add that onto the maybe list. We can't carry a big box like that around. One really cool thing they have here, which I haven't seen yet, but I saw from the emails, I know it's in here. They have like a dump all your stuff in a box and post it home service, where you can just go and get a box at the start of the day. They'll keep it in storage for you. And then every time you buy a game, you can go and put it in your box. And at the end of the day, you can't go and collect the box or post it to yourself if you're going home on the train, which is really cool. Anna actually invented that at EGX about eight years ago and suggested they do it there. And no one ever has apart from this place. So this place owes Anna money for inventing that service. Isn't that right? See, big nod. I don't know what this Disney trading card game is. I keep seeing it come up on my TikTok. 
because obviously on TikTok I watch a lot of Pokemon card stuff. I am intrigued and they certainly have a big stand for it. I am a sucker for a trading card game. And I think the, uh, the cool kids these days would refer to me and Anna as Disney adults. We're Disney adults, aren't we? Yeah, apparently frowned upon. Yeah, we're Disney adults, we're found, frowned upon. We're going to Disneyland, just the two of us later this year. Kevin, there's a line to get in. There is a line to get in, which means it's probably really good. They do look ever so pretty. Even Anna's interested, she's having a little nose at it. The fact that she's interested in trading card game means that it's probably got legs. I have a trading card. Now, if you watch any of our travel videos, you'll know one of Anna's instructions she gives me when I come away anywhere is that I have to bring her socks. Today, we have the sock game. Although, to be fair, on closer inspection, it just looks like a sock-themed version of Dobble, which Anna's not a big Dobble fan. I think we played too much of it when the kids were young, because Amy in particular was really into it. I just asked Anna what the name was, and she was like, what, the Amy game? Because she would forever want to play that with us when she was younger. Well, Anna made it halfway through the first hall before a combination of her knee hurting and just how busy it is in here now has led to me leaving her outside to have a little bit of a rest. She's half an hour away from being able to take her next dose of painkillers, so she sent me back in to finish her first lap basically find the things she'll be interested in and then when it's a little bit quieter a little bit later on dive in and do a targeted strike finding the things that are for Anna so whistle stop tour of what's left of the show floor coming up she'll be fine she's got her phone she's got TikTok she'll be happy and I will uh, finish off my tour I think I might actually be just about done in this first haul anyway and then we can head up into the next one, which is up there, which if I remember from last year, is a little bit bigger. But, I mean, this one's big enough. Look at the size of it. Every now and again, something takes, catches my eye from across the show floor. The fact that there is a football manager board game. Oh. Immediately has me interested you might have to come back and make a purchase but i'm telling you that is so so heavy there's no way i'm carrying that around the show floor so we'll come back and have a look at that towards the end i do like to keep my eye out for the weird football managery based ones i got one last year i forget the name of it i'm sure editor chris will flash it up on screen now by going through last year's video i like to create work for him counter-attack football strategy game i looked at it Insomnia. If it's still there, they like only had one copy, but I don't want it enough to want to carry it around in the next hall as well. And don't worry, there's plenty of Pokemon cards in here as well. This one is pretty much just Pokemon cards. I'm trying not to focus on it too much because I spent too much money on Pokemon cards at Comic Con last weekend, but the temptation is very strong when you have all of this just sat there at convention prices as well which unlike with most other collectibles pokemon card collect uh, convention prices are lower than normal ones every other type of collectible you have a premium provided at convention not pokemon cards i don't understand why it's inexplicable but it's always the cheapest place to buy them you get events like this right i think that is hall number one complete which means we can now venture around into the other hall, which I think is just down these stairs over here. And we should be able to get a nice view over the top of it in a second, because we have to walk down these stairs just here. So, brace yourselves. This is going to be big. There we have hall number one. So there's the ingenious shop and drop area. That I was talking about before, which, as far as I'm concerned, all conventions should have. I know this one is a bit more buying big things, but you can see there, you just have every that sea of boxes. They are currently sold out in the shop and drop, but uh, you have a sea of boxes back there that you can just go and fill up with your stuff and then take it home with you or post it home when you're done. Genius. There is a game that was very much on my shopping list for today door for romantic i love it on steam saw it at comic-con last weekend and it's definitely on my 
on my short list of things to buy. £33, it's not unreasonably priced either. I think I got the Stardew Valley game last year and that was close to £50, I think. So that's not too bad. But if I get that Football Manager one and then we get something for Anna and something for Andy, and some, we could spend hundreds in here, so I do have to be careful. It's a very expensive time of the year with all these conventions. Right, I just texted Anna to check how she's feeling. She's just taken her tablets, so she needs another 15 minutes for them to kick in. 15 minutes might, might be all the time I need to cause some serious damage to our hopes of ever owning a house because the Warhammer section. I mean, they're literally telling me to start here. Obviously, I'll start with the, uh, the bigger box. What's better, Command or Elite? I had, I collected Ultramarines when I was younger. That's the blue Space Marines, right? I had quite a few of them when I was a teenager. Got all the paints and things down there as well. But, oh, this is, this is dangerous. I'm just gonna walk away. We'll casually walk back in that area when Anna's with me and I'll drop her. Oh, I used to love this when I was a kid. Wouldn't it be fun for us to be able to play this? And she, we'll either go one of two ways. Either I'm going to walk out with a massive sack full of stuff or she saves me from myself. But I've just shown incredible willpower to walk away from that. Right, I think this was the section last year where there was a load of Fallout stuff. And this might be my way to be allowed to spend money if I can find something for Anna to spend a load of money on. So rather than spending a lot of money, we could spend two lots of money. I'm not seeing any Fallout stuff. Maybe that game never really took off. This isn't the right section. I'm sure it was in here last year. It was such a big push. They gave us Nuka-Cola bottle caps and all sorts last year. They were really, really pushing it. But either it's not this section or it completely bombed in a year to the point where 12 months on, it's not even at the event. And that wrecks that dastardly plan, doesn't it? We'll keep looking for that. It must be here somewhere. I can't believe it completely disappeared in a year. Hello, what have we got here? Marvel Crisis Protocol miniatures game. With little toys. And unbelievably, nobody playing it. Hold on, is this? I see Skyrim okay. stuff. We might be, lo we might be uh, honing in on Fallout. Oh, huh. he says, walking past that to uh, to look at the Skyrim stuff. Yeah, I suspect this is where the Fallout stuff is. So we have loads of. Uh, I didn't know there was a Skyrim game. See, that tickles my sensibilities again. This is where I need to bring Anna. I need to get her to this bit, let her spend all the money, and then subtly divert her towards the uh, towards the Warhammer section. That's the plan. 15 minutes then until I, until I do the dastardly plan. Right, I think I've completed my first lap of the entire event. It's taken me best part of two and a half, three hours. The problem I've got, as ever, I don't remember where the game that I want is. I want that football game. I've only seen one copy of it in the entire event. I don't even remember which hall it was in. It was definitely after me and Anna separated. So it's either in the second half of the first hall or somewhere in this massive, massive room. But that doesn't really help because we can't go up and down every aisle with Anna. We've got to go direct. We're going to go direct to the Fallout stuff. We'll go direct back to the full run stuff that she wants to get for Andy and I need to hope I find that game on the way. The one advantage I've got is I remember what it was called. It was called Eleven. So if I can't find it in here, I guess we could go home and buy it on Amazon. It's not quite the same though. The fun of these events is the, is the hunt while you're in here. It's not about going home and buying them off of Amazon. I could do that whenever. So I'm now accompanied by a completely recovered Anna. We're heading to the Fallout section and then she's gonna let me buy a load of Warhammer stuff, aren't you? She means yes. She doesn't know what she's saying. I know, but there's so much of it. Here we go then, the entire reason Anna is here. I've brought her into the Fallout section. Let's 
see what she's going to do. She stopped before we even get to it. What have you picked up here? What is this? Uh, okay. There you go, there's your friend Fallout Man. And then there's loads of Fallout stuff over here. There's the board game look in front of you, which I know you probably wouldn't want to play, but you'd quite like that model, surely, the red rocket. <laughs> That's just cool. What? £120. That's just a starter set. So you've got all these. That's just a model. That's just a model. My word. So you've got all this stuff. There's so much. But like they're cool models, even if you don't play the game. Like this guy up here. It's just cool. I didn't realise they were so expensive actually when I was trying to get you in here. So she's saying that comic book thing is in the games, but you never actually get to see inside it. So. 20 quid. I doubt she's going to buy it, but she's having a good nose for it. <laughs> See, I know part of you wants to get into this. And then there's the other part of you that's like, I don't know that I can be bothered and it's expensive. But I can just imagine you setting up Andy's old bedroom as a Fallout battleground area where you drag me up there to play games. And I would be up for that. Oh, I absolutely would. I would love to play this. I would absolutely play you don't this. Like Fallout anyway. I do like Fallout. I just didn't like that rubbish new one. My master plan may be backfiring. Um, it's £68 for the Fallout starter set, and Anna is bulking at the price and not interested. But she's brought me over here to look at the Skyrim version. The starter set for this is £144, and I want it. I want it. I want it. This stuff is all so cool. So many goodies. Dragon. £110 for a dragon though, look. Doesn't show. That's when you know it's good when they don't even have to put it on the box to sell it. What is that? Dice bag? I don't know, but I'll put your hand out, put your hand out. Yeah. What is it? Dice. Or coins, maybe? Yeah, it's a bag of coins. I don't even want to play it again. <laughs> well, Anna's managed to get away from the Fallout stuff without buying it, but however, I've now stumbled across a wrestling game. There's a British Bulldog version, there's a Kurt Angle version there, and I am, uh, I am intrigued. Very intrigued. I might need to look into that a little bit more. Purchase has been made. Dwarf Romantic, Anna had a look at it and would quite like to play it with me, so that made it a no-brainer. We both like the, uh, the PC version, so we're not quite sure how you make it multiplayer for the board game. It's for one to four players, so we've got it. We're going to figure it out. What you need is that, and then go and buy the coins, and then put the coins on that. You want a little coin holding thing for your... Uh, okay, you really like the look of those Skyrim coins, didn't you? Why don't you go and buy them? They're only like 20 quid. We'll come and buy a few bits. It's fine to have I hobbies. Buy one, I will buy it all. That's fine. You're supposed to be finding new hobbies. Now Andy's moved out. This could be a new hobby. Because you take up all the But you've got Andy's bedroom to use. I'll convince her to get something. We found the 11 Football Manager board game. The only problem is I've just done a little bit of research on it. It's one of those games where it's got loads and loads of different expansions. The base set is like 70 pounds and then you can spend hundreds on expansions. Before I take the plunge on it, I think I need to go away and do some research on it. It could cost a fortune. It can be played single player though, so this one's not going to have to play it with me, I which is... I have no interest in football at all. So that's an advantage, but I'm not going to buy it here because I'm not sure how much it is here. There's no price on it and it's really, really, really heavy. And I think I need more than just that one box to... Uh, to get the most out of it. So we'll make do with just Dwarf Romantic for now. We are making our way back towards that Disney trading card game because Anna has uh, shown an interest in that. So we might be getting into that, which would be super. But we've made it back here, but the queue is even bigger than it was earlier. So I'm not sure. Anna looks like she's actually joining the queue. I've never known her be this interested in a tra trading card game. Do you actually want to queue up? Yeah, the queue goes all the way around here. That is a lot of queue. It does look great though. We're gonna do some research online about this game because 
I, uh, I feel like this could be a thing. They've only actually got a couple of tables of it. This is something different, so we can probably come over and have a little bit of a nose. So it looks like it plays, oh, it's just, yeah, it's literally like Pokemon. You play on a play mat and you have a deck of cards and then your cards in your hand. So that's quite cool. Good people of the comment section, tell me about Disney Lorcana trading card game. Because as you can see, Anna is really, really interested. There you go, it says there, August 18th. What was that thing down there? Probably something different. They were like, the sign down there said, looking for Disney Lorcana, this is what you want. So they're obviously trying to con you into buying something else. But I think we probably need to pre-order some packs of this, get a couple of decks and get Anna into a trading card game. Balls to your Pokemon, we're moving on. And I think we're done. Just stepped outside to show off my purchases before we head home. The other thing that we got, massive Funko bag for quite small Ted Lasso party game, which is for two to six players. Apparently only takes 20 minutes to play. I basically bought it because I like Ted Lasso and I like Funko, so surely can't go wrong with that. And then the other one that I bought a little bit earlier. That, by the way, people are disgusting. Look at all the pizza boxes on the floor out here. Um, this is the other thing that we got. Dwarf Romantic, which is an awesome game on Steam and looks very similar in board game form. And I'm intrigued as to how it can be more than one player. It's a one player game. But one to four players, takes 30 to 60 minutes for a playthrough. Try and convince Anna that we should have a go on that this evening. As you can see, Anna's in full sheepdog mode playing Pokemon Go, aren't you? She's gone full sheepdog and she's a little bit broken. This is your first convention in ages. How have you coped? <laughs> Say it loud so the microphone can hear you. Why are we doing another one without the mobility suit? Yeah. I can't do it anymore. We will be going mobility scooter shopping soon, even with the injection and all the painkillers. She's the back now. Yeah, she's. Uh, you're a bit broken, aren't you? We'll fix her and we'll get a scooter. But that is the end of our UK Games Expo vlog. I'll turn you away from Anna so she can carry on Pokemoning and grimacing. Um, we're going to go over to Resort World and grab something to eat. You don't need to see us do that. And I don't know that there's a Wagamama over there. We'll go and have a look. I said there might be. We shall see. Um, but other than that, we will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching, folks. Toodle pip. Bye bye. <laughs>